Casey, why should I think of my house as a system? This is a great question and very important. In a home, there are a lot of different parts. Uh, we can break it into a few different things. So you know, you'll have your envelope, which is really the exterior wall, under your slab, your foundation, your roof, what really protects everything within the house. Within that envelope, you'll also have windows. And then inside the house, you're gonna have hot water, heating, cooling, ventilation, that sort of stuff. It's important to think of all of those things together because if you affect or change one thing, it's going to affect another thing. Here in Ontario, uh, a few years ago, I guess we had uh, government incentives where if you could change, you know, upgrade your windows, upgrade your insulation, change your, furnace, you're going to get these rebates from the government. What I ended up doing is that it turned it into just a furnace changing program where that's where you get the best bang for your buck. So that's what people did. However, the furnace is really the worst place to start if you're going to do upgrades to the efficiency of your home. Because if you go change your furnace, that's a word in Ottawa, Canada for those watching. So we have extreme cold. We have extreme heat as well. So we'll, we'll just talk about the furnace for now. If we go and change your furnace, chances are the company is not actually modeling your home. So there's a good chance that the furnace is gonna be oversized to begin with. However, after the fact, perhaps a few years down the road, you decide to change your windows and then you decide to upgrade the insulation in your walls and then your attic, whatever it may be. Then you make your house more airtight. All of a sudden that furnace gets increasingly too large for your home. And what happens is that you get short cycling. Short cycling is when your furnace runs for a shorter period of time than it should. So it comes on and off more often. And what happens is that where your thermostat is, if we're talking about heating, is the center of the home gets warmed up too quickly and the further parts of the home do not get warmed up quick enough. So you have a, a bigger temperature difference. So when you're heating uh, the furthest room from your furnace, for example, that duct needs some time to condition. Like the duct's gonna be cold as that warm air goes through it, uh, it's gonna heat up that duct and then eventually heat the room. But if it doesn't run long enough, hot air never actually gets to the furthest point of the house. So that's called short cycling. And that'll happen in the cooling season as well when you need air conditioning. Same sort of thing, if the center of the house gets, gets cooled up too quickly, uh, then the rest of the house won't actually get cooled down. So that's why it's important to think of everything and plan your entire project around that. So if you are planning on doing upgrades to the envelope, it's definitely important to start there and then start looking at mechanical equipment after. If you get into making your home more airtight, which is ultimately going to play a huge factor in the overall performance of your home, then you really have to start looking into HRVs, ERVs, which I've talked about in the past, because you do want to make sure that you have fresh air coming into your house at all times. But ultimately, if you're thinking of doing anything to your home, or if you're thinking of building a new home and you wanna do it right, make sure you have the right team involved. So have your energy advisor, make sure they're modeling for you, make sure your contractors know what they're doing, make sure that they're acting in your best interest and not just saying to do this because it's the easy way or it's what you think is best. So they're just agreeing with you. For example, maybe we lose jobs because we tell people the truth sometimes as opposed to what they want to hear. But the reality is, is that that's, that's the way that I think we need to operate is that we need to make sure that we're doing things in the right order and that everybody has the right information so that you as a homeowner, depending, assuming you're a homeowner watching this, can actually make a conscious decision when it comes down to it.